Karl Blossfeld trained originally as a sculptor and his specialism was botanical um, sculpture and he started taking photographs as part of his sculptural practice because obviously taking images of plants was a way of stopping his plant samples um, altering and uh, degenerating um, over, over time. One of the key moments that happened in uh, Blossfeld's career happened uh, quite late in his life. He was persuaded by the gallerist Karl Nierendorf to um, exhibit his photographs in 1926 at uh, Karl Nierendorf's gallery in Berlin. And a couple of years later, Nierendorf also persuaded Blossfeld to um, produce a book which included 120 images. Uh, which Blossfeld had taken uh, during his career. Um, the book was published by Ernst Wasmuth, who was one of the preeminent um, publishers at the time, producing um, art and architecture publications. So the book was incredibly widely distributed uh, by Wasmuth, and the impact that the photographs had was phenomenal. While Blossfeld uh, considered them as very much as being um, research material in his practice, he didn't ever really make a comment about the photographs, so the, the images weren't um, over, overly determined or, or overly fixed, so that they were open to uh, multiple readings. So you have um, this transition point between Art Nouveau and Modernism, Blossfeld's practice was, was very much associated with Art Nouveau in terms of uh, its decorative forms. But as the book was, pub was circulating, um, surrealist writers like George Bataille were picking up on um, Blossfeld's images. Walter Benjamin was looking at the photographs and reviewed um, Blossfeld's book. And figures like uh, Laszlo Moholy Nagy um, we're also pick, picking up on, on the images for a very different reason in terms of their um, photographic content and how that Blossfeld's images started to align themselves with the thinking around early modernist photography and new objectivity photography, which favoured a very um, straightforward, um, non-expressionistic um, approach to documenting the subject. The exhibition at Whitechapel uh, looks at three positions um, in Blossfeld's practice. Uh, the first being uh, book production, um, the second being his teaching practice, and the third being exhibition making. So within these three areas, we're looking very specifically at the use and the circulation of the images. Whitechapel Gallery wanted to present Karl Blossfeld's exhibition now, both in terms of the synergy that Blossfeld's botanical photography has with the Tobias Brothers exhibition. Um, a lot of the influences and source materials that the Tobias Brothers are processing in the contemporary moment that relate to decoration, to Art Nouveau, to early forms of modernism, abstraction, are the moment that um, that Blossfeld was living and work, working within. Karl Blossfeld's photographs are now recognised to have played a key role in the development of 20th century photography.